I would imagine not only are you in a good mood about the governor's announcements yesterday, but I would imagine there's a lot of people in your department and in all of state government, at least in your end, who are kind of going, whew, man, at last, light at the end of the tunnel. Fair? Yeah, I mean, we're, I mean, we're not over with, you know that, but I absolutely, I mean, this is, you know, great, great news as people are, are trying to, to continue to get back to normal. Okay, Butch. Where do I still have to wear a mask? Well, so that that's probably the biggest change um, in, in what's going on here. So the mask mandate fundamentally has been lifted. Uh, the only places that it's still in place are in schools and colleges. And, of course, that's consistent with the CDC guidance. Um, in state buildings, uh, in health care facilities, public transit, uh, that's about the, the, the places that it's only still there. But fundamentally, everything else is, is unrestricted, including the, the outdoor situations. Um, now, you know, the, the social distancing kind of kind of fits into that. So, you know, basically uh, your restaurants and a lot of your indoor facilities are at 75 uh, percent, but they can go to 100 percent. And if they do that, the masking is recommended, not so much to the point of required. It's recommended that if you can't social distance, look, that's more of a personal responsibility uh, measure, um, you know, and then of course when you look at specific places like our theaters, our indoor amusements, our event centers, and conventions, uh, those type of spaces where people are sitting for a long time, the social distancing, of course, is still recommended. But you can get to a hundred percent if people would would wear masks. So fundamentally, you know, we've opened up a tremendous amount of things. But I, I'm really surprised you hadn't asked me about the, the most important thing that Aaron's always concerned you. Which is? I always get beat up about you dancing. Yes! Can I dance in a bar now? Yeah. You, well, first off, you can dance outside. Okay. 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 And, and, and yes, yes, you can dance in a bar. But once again, you know, the, the mask mandate uh, it, to that, that piece is now talking about a suggestion. You know, and, and let me be honest about that. I mean, you know, the dancing is probably one of the big concerning ones because people are not social distance. You're dancing with your family. You're dancing with, with, with your significant other. I mean, that's that's one thing. But, you know, be cognizant that if you are dancing uh, and, and you're dancing with people you don't know, wearing a mask is a safe measure. You know, it's a safe protection. So masking is recommended for dancing indoors, not so much outdoors because, you know, a lot of the guys really – said that the outdoor situation is a lot less risky. Um, but listen, you know, the bottom line is this is tremendous. I mean, th- this opens us up uh, I mean, almost completely uh, with no restrictions. And, you know, and it's a good thing. But, you know, the caution is still there to encourage people to wear masks when they can't social distance. Uh, and then, of course, the other thing is to encourage people to consider affording themselves to the vaccine because, you know, it's the it's the high uh, numbers of vaccine uh, distribution across the state that's got our numbers down in part and, and, and has allowed this decision to be made uh, with the, the partnership of the science folks. Now, our mayor could change that, right? C- couldn't he step in? I mean, he'll be here next hour. Couldn't he say, yeah, Shreveport's going to still have a mask mandate? Well, yeah, absolutely. Throughout this whole process, the locals could be more restrictive than the state. Uh, so, you know, uh, the, they certainly could. Uh, and, you know, and, and we, I'm not I don't know who who has chose to do that or not chose to do that. We're certainly providing information. This is new information. You know, we're updating open safely right now, uh, getting this information populated. Uh, but no, certainly the locals can, in fact, be more restricted than the state. Mr. Butch, everybody, it seems everybody who has really paid attention to all of this, the numbers, et cetera. It seems to me that that there's a lot of folks that were surprised at the governor's announcement yesterday that they had expected it maybe two weeks or a month further down the line. But but already they said they were kind of surprised. How's about you? Is this what you anticipated? No, this is spot on. You know, I mean, the governor's been very methodical in balancing, number one, safety and, and, and the science but also the, the, the economic impact. So th- this was spot on, uh, what I thought, and, and it, it's certainly, you know, the, the right decision based on the facts. And, and you're right, the numbers have been great, um, you know, but we can't we can't think that it can't turn around if, if, if we just totally ignore everything that's been going on. So, you know, uh, I think this is a message of people using common sense. Uh, you know, the governor said many times, you know, is, is it the carrot or is the stick? And, you know, and, and, and we certainly always try to, to hold that care. Although I don't, I don't necessarily 
like the taste of a carrot, but it probably tastes better than a stick. <laughs> Butch, and, um, you know, uh, so it, it's really good times. You know, it really is. Butch, you've got a zillion or two zillion people listening, business owners listening to you today who want to know, do I still have to have my, should my employees still wear a mask if I'm at a restaurant, if I run a grocery store, if I run a, a law office where the public comes in, should my employees still wear a mask? They are no longer required to. Is that correct? They're no longer required to, but it's recommended. You know, I was talking to a restaurant owner last night, and he was telling I asked him, I said, what are you going to do? With your, are you, you going to require? Because a restaurant can still require patrons to wear a mask if they want to. Um, and, and he says, you know, he said, I'm, I'm just going to ask my, my patrons to wear if they want to, because I'm going to require my employees. He said, because, Butch, I had 13 uh, COVID uh, you know, positives throughout this pandemic, and it really hurt my business with losing employees. So it's a personal choice of those businesses. And some some are you doing it, some aren't. It's recommended anytime you can. I, look, I, I'm I'm still gonna have my mask, and when I'm at social distance, I'm gonna I'm gonna wear my mask at, at, out of a personal choice. And um, you know, and, and that's just you know me being cautious and protecting protecting myself, but also courtesy to my neighbor. So, I mean, we're at a point that it's it's truly a personal choice, and you know, and 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 Louisiana has done a good job, I think, of, of making the right decisions, and, and people have, have adhered. You know, to the fact that I'm doing it because I want to, and you know, we've not been the enforcer that, that uh, maybe other states have done. Uh, mm-hmm. Again, we, we've we've always shared the peace pipe. 